I'm Anthony. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Thornton Heath in Croydon. I'm a university graduate. I graduated about four years ago now. Wow. My childhood was very loud. Um, two sisters and myself, and we're half Greek Cypriot, half Irish. So Greek side of the family is very, very loud. The Irish side of the family is very, very loud. When you put them together, they just natter all the time. But yeah, um, I, childhood was great. Um, yeah. I was a bit of a terror when I was in my teens, um, which made my mum and I not have the most constructive relationship and my sisters and I not have the most constructive relationship. I think out of all my family, the person who I just continuously got on with the best was my dad, because we are the most similar, I guess. My, my way of dealing with my dad's death was to think that I had to remain strong for my family, which meant that I showed no emotion, which kind of made me push my family away. Everything in the house was very tense. I had a lot of misplaced anger. I was always getting into arguments with my sisters, or arguments with my mum. I came to the realisation that this was really, really bad. I just wanted to be out of London, out of the routine that my life had become. So I packed up my bags, got myself a job in China and I left. And that year away gave me space to fully, I guess, process all of that misguided anger, all of that confusion and resentment about my dad having died. I could talk more freely with my sisters and with my mum. Um, so when I came back, it had built this clean slate, I guess. With, with my dad gone, obviously, I've become like the man of the house. And I felt at a bit of a loss with um, my mum paying the mortgage and paying the bills and buying the food and my sisters paying rent and all contributing and I couldn't. And I felt so lost. I never wanted to claim benefits. I never wanted to be one of those people who other people could say, oh, my taxes are paying for you. I, I guess there's this um, stigma about going to the job centre. It kind of makes you seem like you, you haven't succeeded, you failed. But I was so wrong. My, my work counsellor, Cam, is an absolute legend. As soon as I went into the job centre, I remember I gave him my CV and he just looked at me and went, I'm not even going to bother learning your name because you're not going to be here for long. I think I was in the job centre for all of two days before I was put on the scheme. And then obviously the balls kept rolling since then. Hello, Red Personnel. Anthony speaking. How can I help you? We are currently in the offices of Red Personnel. Um, this is my placement. This is where I work. We're based in Marlebone, just off Baker Street. Um, and Red Personnel is a recruitment consultancy. So we effectively are the middleman for putting people into work with our contractors and suppliers. You're right, James. Um, can I can have a quick second. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about Sukhnil. Yes. Has Emily from Pause got When I first found out I was going to be working in an office, I was a little bit apprehensive because I didn't know what to expect. I always had horrible images of offices being little cubicles where you work and you don't talk to anyone, but it's not true at all. Everyone here is a character. Everyone here talks. Everyone helps each other out. Um, you can hear them now. Um, everyone chats. So it's a really good atmosphere. It's a really really constructive place to work. This one's an urgent one. You've worked on this one, haven't you? European office products. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, this one's actually really urgent. We do need more CVs on this. This whole scheme has definitely been what I needed. I needed a very sizable boot in the backside, I guess. Um, I need, basically, I needed a reality check, because obviously being away, it's a little bit out of touch with London and the pace of life here. So yeah, I'm, like, I'm really liking the fact that my life now has solid structure. 
and a solid like target that I need to get to before I can get to the next one, which is what this game's done.